Okay, so by now you should have your hosting account set up so we can get into cPanel and have a look. Now, the one I'm looking at here is the standard baby hosting package from HostGator. Uh, if you've got a different kind of hosting package, hopefully you're already familiar with it and know how to use it. If you've got a reseller account and you don't know how to use it, just let me know, open a sport ticket, and I'll look at getting a video done for how to use a reseller account as well uh, because they can be much better because you can stick more domains on them. But this is the, the standard baby account, and all we're going to do is put in a username and password and log in, which takes just a second or two, and here we are in cPanel. Now, the first thing you'll notice is if we scroll down, there's an awful lot of options and icons and bits and pieces going on. Now, don't get scared. Most of these you'll never have to use. Um, there's, <laughs> there's far more than we actually need. You can do all sorts of things in cPanel. The ones that we are going to have a look at in the next video, we'll probably have a quick look at Fantastico, which is for setting up WordPress blogs. Uh, but we'll probably use Quick Install, just because uh, it's a different way of doing it. It's very quick. But the one that you will want to have a look at occasionally is this one down here, AW Stats. This allows us to look at who's been visiting our website. Once you click on that icon, it will list all your domains. Simply click on the magnifying glass next to it, and it opens up a new page. And you can see I've already had some visitors. I've already had 17 people visit this website in May. Now, I suspect that's actually people who've been watching the earlier training videos uh, and have just come to have a look and see what I've got on the site so far. Well, there's nothing there yet because we haven't got to that stage in the training videos. Um, this can be very useful later on because it will also give you an idea of what keywords people are searching on to come to your site. Uh, so that can be very, very useful information. Okay, so that's the traffic page and the best one. There are a couple of different options there. If we go back to the home page here, you'll notice as well as AW Stats, there's Webalyzer. Um, I prefer AW Stats. The statistics seem to be more accurate than Webalyzer. Okay, the one thing that we do need to do, or two things in fact, is set up a new email account and set up a forwarder. So let's do that now. Let's click on email accounts. And what I'm going to do is set up a new email account to go to admin at my domain name. And I'm simply going to copy and paste a password I've already got set up. Oops. Into there. Okay. And hopefully that's a strong password. If you have problems coming up with an idea for a password, just click on the password generator and the system will generate something good for you. I'm also going to untick the 250 and change it to unlimited. Um, and then I'm going to click on create account. And that's it done. Okay. So we now have a new email account admin at homealarmsystemsdoityourself.com so I can use that as my email address. However, what we're going to do next, again, we're going to go back to the home page and we're going to now add a forwarder. Now, the problem with email address is if you end up with one for every domain, which you should really have, you need to have an email address for every domain, but you want them all to be forwarded to one central domain so that it's easier to manage. Otherwise, it gets out of control very, very quickly. So the best option is to have something like a Gmail account set up. And if we click on Add Forwarder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say everything for admin at Home Alarm System Do It Yourself is going to be forwarded to my Gmail address, which is askmattg at gmail.com. Okay, it's as simple as that. So everything at this address that I've just set up is now going to be forwarded through to my central Gmail account, and I can just click on Add Forwarder, and that's done. Okay, that makes life a lot easier for email management. It's all coming into one central account, and Gmail is a pretty good way of dealing with it. Okay, the next video we will have a look at how to set up your WordPress blog, and as I said, we're going to have a look at Quick Install uh, to show you how easy that is to use to set up WordPress. Thanks very much for watching this video.